Hi, it's Donald with Maxwell Counters. Um, today we're going to learn how to plug a crack in the countertop on uh, a solid surface. So, um, our first step would be we want to get a piece of wood, something that we can attach to our top, and we'll hot melt it, put some dabs of glue on it, stick it so it won't move on us. Um, next thing we need is a piece of material. Um, normally we'll hide a piece underneath the top. Uh, sometimes we may have to find a different piece. Um, also, we have cutting boards that we hand out that we could use if necessary. Um, we'll also take this and we'll hot melt it down to the wood. We want it stationary so it doesn't move or wiggle on us because we're going to use a router um, around it. We got it set up and we have a template. We have a part that we're cutting out and we also have a part that helps us cut the piece out. So what we want to do is we'll get our template hot melted down over the bad spot say we got a crack that runs right here. We're going to get this melted down and set in place. So we have our other part that actually fits into it. It's going to help create our piece to plug it. So what we do is we take our other top, our plug part, and we'll hot melt this down on top of our piece. We have a piece, uh, we have a router that is actually beveled. So once we stick this on top and we router this out, it's actually going to create a bevel on the piece that we want to plug. So it's angled down so that it will slide into it. We also have another router that is beveled the opposite way that will allow that piece to slide down into it. So once we get set up, we'll use this to cut out our piece take our other router and we'll use our big router that comes with a different collar to actually cut our piece out. It's just going to cut it square. Once we get that cut out and it's square, we use our beveled router to come in and we'll want to set it up to a certain height so we don't make it too big, get it routed out. Now this piece is ready. So what we'll do is we take this and we start putting it in. What is going to happen is our piece is actually going to set up high, like so. So what we need to do is we take our router that's on the, that we're cutting, cutting out. There's an adjustment on it that allows this to slide up and down. So we can uh, we can adjust the height up and down on this wherever we need to. Once we get it set, we're going to start sticking our router in here, and we're going to router around it. And we keep every every time we make a pass, we'll adjust down a little bit. We'll make a pass until our template sets pretty flush with the top or close to. Um, we want a little bit of room. Uh, we want to leave our template just ever so slightly high. Just a little bit. That way when we come to sand, we can sand it down flush with the deck. Um, <clears throat> once we get it to where we want it, we're going to take um, some seam kit. We'll fill around our edges here, put some on our edges here, drop it down. Actually, we can show it on this one. Kind of drop it down into place as it sets, so it'll set and it'll, it'll dry. Once our seam kit's dry, we'll take our piece off. It'll be in, in, a, in place, and we can come back, sand it down, and our plug's all complete.